we have a very nice range of Ayurvedic skincare products which have been completely formulated based on Ayurvedic principles. Each of our skincare ranges are modeled uh, to be used by certain dosha types which have a particular kind of skin concerns. But the routine itself is very very simple. For many people who are used to more elaborate synthetic routines, this always comes as a bit of a surprise saying that is this all I need to do for my skin? I just need to wash it, I need to apply an Ayurvedic skin serum and once a week apply a Lepa. Is that all? Well, yes, that is all and uh, surprisingly this simple skincare routine is very very effective. When Darshana and Sanjukta joined our team, they were also equally curious to know whether this skincare routine would work for them. Uh, Dashna came uh, to me saying that Preeti, I don't have a skincare routine right now uh, and I want to develop one and she said that I, an elaborate routine would not work for me so a basic skincare routine like this is perfect and but I really want results. And Sanjukta on the other hand uh, came to me saying that I have been trying a lot of skincare routines, I have tried a lot of skincare products. Uh, you know, she, she follows a lot of uh, skincare vloggers and a lot of skincare tutorials and companies. But she wasn't yet able to craft the perfect skincare routine for herself. So she was skeptical but was interested in trying a simpler routine uh, based on Ayurveda. So I took a look at both of their skincare types and I also tried to understand their Prakriti uh, based on my interaction with them of course. And since we've been interacting for a long time, my understanding of their Prakriti is much deeper. So for Darshana, I suggested a combination of a Moisture Plus range, which is actually formulated for people with Vata type skin, along with the Vyoma range, because I saw that uh, over time, uh, Darshana skin had dullened due to aggravated Vata Dosha. So I, I chose Vyoma along with Moisture Plus to help brighten up the skin, to make the skin tone more even, etc. For Sanjukta skin, uh, she has uh, what I would call a, a Pitta Kapha kind of skin. Uh, so her skin, while it is largely clear, it does tend to break out and it is very very sensitive to both the sun and certain kinds of products. So for her, I suggested a mixture of the classic skin range and the Vyoma skin range. Vyoma uh, helps with a little bit of the blotchiness and sensitivity that people get especially when they go into the sun. It is also very very useful uh, you know like I had uh, suggested in Dashna's case to generally brighten up the skin and even the texture. And classic uh, I had suggested to balance out uh, you know the oiliness and reduce the sensitivity that generally comes along with Pitta based skin. So both of them are very very excited to start uh, trying these products and uh, while we were discussing this we said hey why don't we make this a skincare challenge. So they embarked on a 30 day skincare challenge and uh, we're going to be seeing how that worked out for them, uh, whether they liked it, uh, how often they used the products and what were the changes they saw in their skin and whether the routine was easy to follow and of course whether it was effective for them. Hi everybody, my name is Dashna and as you know, we are going to be doing a 30 day skincare challenge. Now, um, well, I'm taking up this challenge mainly to set up a skincare routine for myself because I've never really done anything for my skin at all. Yeah, I don't use a specific face wash, no uh, specific serums, nothing, right? So this is going to be my step because it is important to have a skincare routine just to keep your skin healthy. And also, I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm starting to get a little black spots on my cheek. Like these, I don't know if you can see them, but yeah. So, I sat down with Preeti for a consultation. My skin type is a little dry and my nose is oily. And these are the following products that Preeti recommended me after my consultation. Uh, for my face wash, she gave me the Korea Moisture Plus face wash. And uh, for my face mask, I've been recommended two face masks, which I'm supposed to do like a 50-50 mix of, and I'm gonna be applying the face mask once a week. So the 50-50 mix uh, I'm gonna be doing is of the Korea um, After Sun face mask and the Korea Moisture Plus face mask. Apart from these, I've also been recommended two serums that are to be used, one in the morning and one in the night. I have the Korea Vyoma serum with me and which is for the morning and I also have the Korea Moisture Plus Serum which is for the night. Uh, well, I can't wait to get started with this so um, I'm glad you're joining me in my little journey and my little experiment and uh, let's see how it goes. Good morning, good afternoon, 
good day good evening whenever you're watching this um i sat down with Preeti and we kind of spoke about what my skin concerns are and what my skin type is so that we can figure out which products to put on my face um so we found out i do have a slightly more oily skin uh because i use a lot of um i wouldn't say entirely organic products so some they they of course have preservatives in them and of course i wear i wear makeup almost every other day what's going to happen now is that we ran through my skin concerns and we picked up a few uh things to start using so we started with just like out of a daily routine we started with the kriya classic face wash and we went with this uh, solely for the reason that i do need to do all of this so my skin is extremely prone to any kind of excess pigmentation in the sense that if there's an acne it will pigment and it will show but it but it does eventually go away on its own but it also gets pretty bad and there's also just generally uh some parts of my skin that that just uneven skin tone is what the word is so yeah so to tackle that we have the classic face wash that we're going to be using so good. we're following it up with two serums um in combination because i might need it in combination so we're using the classic skin serum so i'm most probably following the classic line and um i also have the vioma or the vioma if you read it says vioma in sanskrit and says vioma in english anyway um so vioma is my second serum there is an in between step where just for my particular you know skin type i will be using rose water as a pre serum step so sticks to your pretty usual what you already know steps on how to um wash your face and skin care so there's a wash there's a toner there's a serum so she suggested two face masks for my weekly routine um so these are, these two are my daily my weekly is include a two masks um and i'm supposed to use it in a ratio one again helps with the pitta dosha the other one just really helps with melasma and any kind of blemishes that i have so um i do have a few blemishes but let's just see how it goes so we have the we have the classic face mask um this smells really good man it's got rose in it and honestly i uh, it doesn't smell too rosy and i'm a person who doesn't like the smell of roses so, okay uh, so there's that and there is of course the uh face mask for after sun now see um i see an ingredient that i've seen a lot which is rose hip which we are very aware that rose hip as a oil also really helps with any kind of darkness which as far as i've seen and as far as i've discovered on my own skincare journey so rose hip seed oil is vastly used for any kind of just general darkness that you're facing it could be any kind of darkness they're not specifying that so i got the face mask after sun for uh, blemishes Oh, this smells really good. I like this too. Um, so I'm excited. Let's just see how it goes then. Hi guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick update about how things are going. Um, it's been two or three days since I started the routine in terms of both my classic face wash and my two serums. Um, so this is how my skin is doing. I think it's doing pretty well um especially under the eyes for some reason and definitely um I feel a lot plumpier if that makes any sense like I just feel like some like I got to let do stuff to the side of my mouth but yeah 
So my recommendation for um, how to use my serums is is day or night dependent. So during the day, which it is right now, um, I use one drop of classic and two drops of Yoma. And in the night, it switches up. And in the night, I have two drops of Yoma and one drop of classic. Wait, did I just say the same thing? I did. <laughs> in the night, I take uh, one drop of two drops of classic and one drop of Yoma. Can get confusing, especially during the night when I'm sleep deprived and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I just drop some classic. One drop of it, can boil it there, and um, well, technically two drops. What I'm gonna do is just gonna kind of spread up on my fingers, just palm, and then kind of um, start doing that. I like to especially try to get some underneath my eyes, just a little bit. And I do that and go for the areas where I feel like I'm not, where I don't feel so moisturized. And there, that's it. Um, I did wear this underneath makeup, I think, for, for a couple of days, and it works. Like I don't, I don't feel like my makeup is slipping and sliding all over the place. So. That's great for me. So now I'm off to dance class. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting on my mask today. As I mentioned, that I have two masks that were recommended to me, which is the After Sun face mask and uh, the Moisture Plus face mask. So I'm supposed to do a 50 50 mix of it. What I'm doing is one and a half spoon of each mask. Okay, so now for my mask, I'm not going to be using water to be mixing my mask, but I'm going to be using milk and rose water because that's what was suggested for me. And it's going to be a 50-50 mix of it. So I'm going to be putting in roughly 2-3 to three caps of rose water and the same amount of milk. Now that I have my mask mixed all up, I'm gonna be setting it down for about 30 to 40 minutes and then applying it on. One hour later. Okay, so my face mask has been sitting for about 30 to 40 minutes now and um, it's all ready to be applied. And <laughs> yes, if you've noticed something, I've got finished compared to how I was when we last spoke <laughs> hence I am first gonna be clipping my hair up so I'm just gonna quickly comb it up a bit it is recommended to have a brush I do not yet have a makeup brush and I am planning on buying one so that's that uh, I'm gonna be using my fingers now as you know the face mask has to be about the half of this thickness the half your thumb uh, with rice. Yes. It, so basically, it should be a slightly thick mask and you shouldn't let it dry up completely. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Definitely become more pinker, brighter. 
whatever you may say um yeah it like it has made my face a lot more clearer and it is also made out of my face plumpier is the word i'm going for <laughs> so what i'm going to be using today because it honestly is a lot more plumpier like it feels very like fresh chubby So there we go, my first face mask done for the skincare challenge. <laughs>
big update um well i just wanted to show you what i was working with and how it's progressing so i am a person who generally has like really horrible self tan thing going on um usually like here and here these are the areas you apply your bronzer so i i i thought i was lucky to be naturally bronzed but i was wrong uh it turns out it's just complete mismatch of skin tone so um as you can see this side okay this side was never the one with the most but it's definitely reduced it's coming down and this side used to have a lot but it's genuinely genuinely come down and my forehead what so these okay it used to be really bad but now it's going away and another thing that i'm noticing is generally i usually have really large pores around here nowhere to be seen also i feel like my face is fuller like i can cup it and just cute <laughs> but but it's definitely like fuller like it feels like i've swallowed two gulab jamuns and it like kept it inside my cheeks but definitely i'm noticing that so i'm just going to chill with you guys and get my me uh, get get ready for today um but yeah i'm kind of like and how it's going hi guys quick update uh but we have a problem i just finished washing my face in the night and uh well something really stupid happened <laughs> so that happened <sighs> this means i'm going to have to buy myself a new moisturizer serum and yeah no serum for a few nights so we're coming to the end of our lovely 30 day challenge to be honest it's been more than 30 days now but <laughs> um i really okay i i found certain parts of it difficult where i was like uh, too lazy to like wash my face in the night but definitely like once i started doing that it's kind of changed how i feel about myself especially before i go to bed and i think one thing i look forward to every morning is like that smell of the face wash every time i wash my face in the morning in the shower this smells so nice oh no i've gotten so much into it that you know if i don't like the days i do miss out on washing my face either in the morning or night it feel i feel very lethargic you know cuz i'm kind of like using it as my wake up and go to bed kind of a thing <laughs> it's like okay i wake up and you know i wash my face and i feel immediately super fresh and then again when i'm sleeping it's like if i don't wash my face i'm very restless through the night but it's nice i really like it and i mean it's doing so well i can like clearly see the difference in my face feel so like plump and fresh and just feel happy <laughs> My definition of natural was defined by how my skin was um when I was using well a fairly decent amount of uh, chemical um substances on my face. So it was like a serum with the hyaluronic acid, a moisturizer, a toner, all that kind of stuff. Um I think it this has really helped you know take a step back and for my skin to be as natural as possible so it act the the word, the the idea of what my skin is when it's natural has been completely redefined and i would like to say that this is my current natural face at most it's it's um and definitely it feels much better and i feel a hundred times more confident going out or being out makeup free yeah what about you like you know i've never really taken care of my skin before this <laughs> it's always just been either washing it with like plain water or like with the same soap like that i used to wash my hands <laughs> i was very reckless <laughs> but um i i can like i didn't know how much of a difference it would make and like just seeing the different like the result like and not like it obviously immediately but even within a week i could tell like i could feel the clear difference between how my skin was before i started using the products and after i started using the products and so 
honestly i stepped in with zero expectations <laughs> because i didn't know what to expect you know like i told i've never done anything like this before so i just blindly came in hoping that you know my face would probably be less itchy during the winter because i have dry skin and it's done more than that it's definitely done a lot more than just you know making my like face less itchy <laughs> Yeah and I've seen like uh, so technically my face is 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 part of the whole oily pitta side so um I definitely as an oily person everybody out there knows that oily people have like the largest pores in the world for some for some reason well first of all apart from the fact that pores don't shrink or shrink or expand um my pores have actually not visibly disappeared but they're definitely there but that but they're so smooth i see no texture on my skin of any kind like it's com- like nice and like smooth there is n- like i don't feel any texture and that's a, like a big thing for me um so yeah what about you uh well i was trying to get like i told you i feel like my face is a lot more plumper and another thing i noticed it is <laughs> I mean you might call it brightness or whatever but my face looks red. <laughs> It's like I've changed complexions. <laughs> not like not like towards becoming fairer but just clearing up my skin. It makes me look different and it's like you know like making me look it makes me look like I have a different complexion, you know, which is very interesting because I never really knew or noticed it before. And also like the marks I was worried about like these tiny thing is like is barely there now. It's nearly gone, which is great. Another thing which is interesting was during my period when I was using the product right uh, usually just before my period I have a bad breakout like a horrible breakout over here or I would get like a breakout here under my chin nothing I had absolutely nothing apart from my own self inflicted stuff you know with the bangs and like the little like oiliness on my forehead yeah that's like that's uh, like like Preeti says whatever for fashion <laughs> no but yeah um definitely it's helped a lot i i can feel the difference like it feels a lot more softer and it's reduced like the oiliness i i only have oiliness on my nose so that's reduced like 10 times more the face feels a lot more plump and like nice it's it just feels nice you know i don't have the itchiness there's no like random outbursts of pimples i've never really had too much pimples but like even through my period like i'm i'm close to my period right now and there's nothing usually by now i would have either on my lip or my forehead and there's nothing so it's definitely help keep my skin healthy which i'm great and i'm so grateful for and yeah i'm not going to break the habit i mean it's the easiest thing to do it's just like Five minutes to yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I noticed rude. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> But I noticed a lot of changes, especially in my skin, because I'm prone to what I what I call the natural bronze. Is that these parts of my face get easily tanned, and right now they're evening out, and and it and it feels and it kind of adds a certain fluffiness or like a plumpness to my face. Secondly to my girls out there who have a hairy face or like have facial hair trust me it's like a charm it works like i've seen even within a month i've at least i wouldn't say reduction i would i would say it's less visible and it's definitely made me more confident with whatever i do is that i'm like okay i'm not too worried about people zooming into my face and seeing all my facial hair everybody has facial hair everybody has peach fuzz it's just some of us have it more obvious than the others but this with conti- with continued use could make it less obvious and i'm seeing that already on my face and i'm super happy um i think i have a few tips to give about people who use makeup i guess that that makes a lot of difference is that a please do not for the love of god skip out from using the cleanser or the cleansing oil of any kind i was um i was using the i am using the kriya cleansing uh, makeup cleansing oil for my face and it it's it's um it's 
for my makeup which is slightly on the matte side it really let my dehydration because of the makeup go down and and it's it's become more moisturized definitely do not skip out on that um i think i also another note i asked preeti this if this would help with under eye anything and no you cannot you know just do this and help with your under eye circles or bags or anything like that you will have to follow up with the pada bianga and all the other items and masks and all that so that your and a lot of water to keep your um, under eye in check yeah Yeah, that's yeah. my tip. I I don't know much about that, man. I mean, I don't use makeup. So just go with what she says. <laughs> But anyhow, overall it's been a really great experience. Honestly, it's such an eye opener like just spending that 5 10 minutes every morning and every night for yourself can do so much for your skin and you don't even need to worry about it and like i i i remember when i was trying i wanted to get into the skin care routine for a very long time but i was so scared because there were so many steps and there was always like i was so afraid because i didn't know like because you find products that say smooth to dry and then you find things that say oily skin and what if you like you know sometimes it's not just like like i have soft skin but it's dry you know it's not sensitive per se so it's very confusing to figure out what to do and how to go about it so finding something this simple and this effective is like a blessing <laughs> no i'm serious i i really mean it it's i mean it's the best thing you can do for yourself and even the masking process i mean oh my god i really look forward for the days i used to mask because it's such a nice wind down like for people who wind down early from work or anything right when you put the mask on it's so so calming and relaxing and like i i personally felt like that what about you sanj i felt it like so nice i was like oh <laughs> yeah i'm going to um, so i was a person who moved from like a four or a five step skin routine to a three step skin routine that is uh, i say three step because i used two face oils uh face serums but definitely like trying to move from like five or six products a day to like two product three products a day or even two products if you're lucky um like the shoe is um, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey i used two different serums okay it's just like one for the morning and one for the night not mixing it that's yeah. the only difference i i i'm sitting here with like a mix like 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 a chemist and mixing two two <laughs> two serums together in my palm to wear on one one like wear right anyway <laughs> but yeah definitely um Um I've seen a lot of people say that trying to move out of a like a gigantic you know four or five step skin routine to something that's simpler might affect their so called uh I want to wind down it really does not it makes your wind down so much more nicer because a the products that you're wearing smell so good I'm a person who's very uh I I like nice smelling things so especially washing my face and like winding down with the serum at night has not affected my uh skincare routine calmness or meditative sense at all I still have that meditative sense I can still achieve it within within these like two step three step uh you know skincare routines and definitely like we Tarshu says my god the mask So I I did shoot this. I don't think I did, but I did uh, use the after sun mask and I feel like for me that that was a bit more effective than the classic face wash, classic face mask. So definitely try out that if you are uh, if you are recommended that I think it works really well. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean if you found this challenge entertaining and if you would like to see us test out some other products or take out some more challenges let us know in the comments and please do subscribe and like our video <laughs> yes oh. and you can um, according to preeti we have to five so we're going to plug in uh, our social media handles along with kriya social media handles and follow us everywhere i guess if you're on facebook we're on facebook if you're on instagram we're on instagram um if you want to follow our blog you can go to kriya.in and we have a bunch of blogs available so yeah so 
and please 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 do share your challenge video with us so that we can reshare it and do tell us how it goes for you hopefully it doesn't just end with the 30 day challenge for you and it does become a routine like it's gonna become a routine for me and for sanju as well so bye <laughs> bye <laughs>